Okay, here's just a straight uh, recording of the Les Paul 59 reissue with the uh, the 59 custom bridge pickup and the uh, 78 pearly gates um, neck pickup with the triple shot system. Uh, so I'm just going through the clean channel of a uh, Marshall uh, JVM1. I have NOS tubes and I'm just going to start off each of these pickups with um, first off the uh, the series humbucker then I'm going to do parallel humbucker then I'm going to do screw coil then I'm going to do slug coil then I'll flip to the bridge do the same thing and then I'll do the middle position and kind of play around with things there. I'm just gonna do maybe like 10, 15 seconds for each little setting, so that way it doesn't take forever. Okay, here we go, here's the neck, Let's start off. <laughs> Now here's neck parallel. Okay, now here is a uh, single coil split to the screw coil. Sorry about that. Okay, here's the uh, slug coil. Sorry, I couldn't keep going like that. Okay, we're back in tune and now we're into the bridge series Okay, now here's the bridge in parallel humbucking mode. If you can hear, it's a lot thinner sounding and brighter. Okay, um, here's the screw coil of the bridge pickup, single coiled. Okay, here's the uh, the slug coil in the bridge. Okay, now I'm going to turn everything back to the middle position, the, uh, the series humbuckers, both sides, um, now I'm in the middle position, so start off like that. <laughs> pickups in parallel humbucking mode.
Okay, now I'm gonna do both of them in screw coil, single coil mode. Okay, now I'm going to do both of them in slug position. Uh, again, I'm in the middle position of the, uh, the three-way selector. Okay, now here's where things can get kind of fun. I'm going to put the bridge in a ser er, series uh, humbucking mode, and I'm going to put the neck in parallel humbucking mode. <laughs> So I keep going a little bit out of a tune. That's why I've got Clues and Revolution locking tuners that are ready to go into this guitar at some point here. Okay, so that way we just had the bridge in series, the neck in parallel. I'm going to switch it and do the neck in series and the bridge in parallel. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the neck, or the, uh, the bridge in series. The neck I am going to do single coil with the screw coil activated. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to just switch it and have the uh, slug coil activated. Same deal with the bridge series humbucking. <laughs> Okay, we've got done basically what we can there, so now I'll have the bridge in parallel humbucking mode, and let's just start off with the, uh, the slug coil, single coil for the neck. <laughs> Okay, um, now I'm going to do the screw coil with the uh, bridge pickup in uh, parallel humbucking.
think I've gone through everything. Um, how about we just do, I don't know if I've done this. Um, oh, okay. I can have the neck in series humbucking, and I'll have the slug coil, or the uh, screw coil of the uh, bridge pick up in single coil mode. Switch that to the uh, slug coil on the bridge pickup. Basically all I can do except um, put the neck in uh, parallel humbucking mode and start off with the bridge in single coil slug mode. <laughs> coil of the bridge pickup in single coil mode with the neck pickup in parallel humbucking mode. triple shot system from Seymour Duncan. Um, pickups used were a uh, 59 custom hybrid for the bridge and a uh, custom shop um, 78 pearly gates hybrid with the uh, the 78 being the uh, the screw coil the pearly gates being the slug coil. Um, I've got the uh, full Doyle coils uh, vintage harness system and whatnot in this thing so it's got pretty much everything uh, that I've always wanted in it and it got so many different so, so many different tones that I just don't even know where to start but there was a nice little start and that was just clean imagine with some overdrive and distortion but that's for another day hope that was enjoyed and just so everyone knows, that was just through a little Marshall JVM1 that I have NOS tubes in. And I also put in a, uh, a Celestian G10 greenback speaker instead of the 8-inch stock speaker. So it's just an awesome little amp. I absolutely adore it. Okay. <laughs>